بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Now the common firewall technologies now most of the firewall supports uh, almost all this all these features like stateful packet filtering or stateless packet filtering application level gateways and next generation firewalls so all these features may be supported in some vendors and some vendors may support two to three features depends depends on individual firewalls but basically these are the common technologies which are supported in almost all the all the firewalls including cisco So the first thing is we'll we'll try to understand what is packet filtering. Now packet filtering is is nothing but the ACLs. If you remember, in the basic CCNA routing switching, you did some ACLs. So it's a method where the traffic actually moves through the device. It can be a router or maybe a firewall, any device, and it's going to filter the packets, check the packets, check the source, check the destination, or check the actual protocol like TCP or UDP. Or check the source or destination port numbers, whether it is port number eighty or port number twenty-three or port number twenty-one, and various other parameters as it as as it moves through that networking device, and based on the rules, whatever we define, whether if you say permit, once it matches as per the rules, if you say permit, it is going to allow the packet to pass through. If you configure them as a deny, it's going to simply deny the packet. So the packet filtering is nothing but checking. Uh, the packet inspecting the packets inspecting the data as it as it goes uh, through the device packet by packet and it's generally accomplished by using acls on the routers or on the multi layer switches now the acl is nothing but it's a set of rules which we are going to write on the device based on the rules either it will permit or deny the traffic and this packet filtering can be either stateless or stateful Now the basic difference between the stateless and the stateful is uh, first let's see what is stateful packet inspection before we understand what is uh, stateless packet filtering or stateful packet filtering. Now the stateful packet inspection is nothing but uh, it allows allowing the connections originating from the inside interfaces and dropping the connections from the outside. So it's nothing but let's say I want the user sitting in my LAN. should be able to initiate a traffic to my servers on the internet let's say yahoo or google servers at the same time i want to make sure that whatever the traffic which is returning back should be allowed so which means i'm sending a request to http www.yahoo.com the request goes and the reply comes back that is something what i want to allow maybe on the router or maybe a firewall uh, any device we can also configure the router as a firewall also At the same time, I want to make sure that any traffic which is initiated from the outside, maybe an attacker trying to access the resources in my LAN, that should be denied. So, stateful packet inspection means uh, maintaining the state or uh, state tables, like the same thing here. Uh, traffic from the LAN to the server should be allowed. Return traffic should be coming back, which means I'm sending a request to Yahoo, and the Yahoo is sending a reply. but at the same time if the traffic is originated on the outside interface or on the outside untrusted network should be dropped but now the question is how the router or a firewall will be able to differentiate whether it is a retaining traffic or whether it is initiating traffic so most of the firewalls uh, support uh, supports stateful packet inspection uh, which is going to keep a track whether the traffic coming from the internet is returning traffic or originating traffic so based on some some tables we call it as state table so what exactly the firewalls will do is whenever a user initiate a request like this user sends a request saying that www.yahoo.com the request the request goes to the firewall and the firewall is going to check the permit rule because here also we we will implement some kind of policies and based on the policies let's say If I say the firewall to allow this user to be able to access the Yahoo server, it's going to check that permit rule, and it will it will see whether that packet is allowed or denied. If if it if the rule is to deny, it will drop there itself. But if the rule is permit, it will allow the packet to pass through the firewall and reaches the internet. But before uh, while it is sending, it is going to add a session entries. 
So nothing but it is going to write down in the session table saying that from this source, maybe the source, let's say 10.1.1.1, uh, destined to 50.1.1, which is the Yahoo server, uh, port number, let's say some random port number, 2050 something, on port number 80, the request was sent. Apart from that, uh, some other sequence numbers and other things you will write down. And when the packet is returning back, like the Yahoo server is replying back, and it reaches the firewall and the firewall will check whether is this packet a part of the existing session or not so which means it's going to confirm this packet is a returning traffic or originating traffic so if it is a returning traffic then it must match this session entries where the source will be this destination will be 10 dot network and the source port number should be 80 destination port number should be 2050 and of course the sequence number should should match and other parameters should match so if it matches this uh, session entry then it is going to allow that particular traffic to pass through and if it does not match then it's going to simply discard the traffic so this is how the firewall is going to keep a track of the packets whether they are returning or whether they are initiated on the internet so we call this as a stateful packet filtering because the because the firewall or the router in generally we call it as firewall because this is the special feature of a firewall of course we can configure the ios firewall where we can make a router also as a firewall now it's going to keep a track of the traffic which is leaving the leaving to the internet so that's what we call it as uh, monitor the state of the active connections and it's it's going to use that information to determine what the packets which are allowed and it's going to analyze based on that and based on that it will allow or block so we call this as stateful packet filtering again the same thing what i what i just discussed as i said when the user initiates a request the request goes with the source address destination address uh, the actual data and then the protocol and other informations and then it is going to write down that entries in the session table and when the traffic is returning back, it should match this session session entries. So the firewalls have the capability to track the, all the traffic which is allowed on the internet in the state table, which is going to identify the state uh, session state. And based on this, it can differentiate whether the attacker is actually spoofing to be to be a server C, which means or maybe because the attacker when he is spoofing, he's trying to initiate a traffic as a valid user. So if he is spoofing, then it's not going to match this database and automatically it's going to drop this particular traffic. 